be a guest on the Mr. Ajo show. And so from that moment on, I had a secret, and it was secret because I didn't get any support from my family. Uh, I always, you know, I had, it was like a dream of mine to grow up and be a cartoonist. So eventually when I grew up, I became a rock star and a cartoonist. And I wrote a comic book called Rockstar Cartoonist, a comic book autobiography by Michael Lyons. And uh, this comic, um, every page is one year in my life. It starts from the year I was born in 1967. And uh, with, with each, each passing year, I cover girls I liked, um, musical influences like from Elvis to Kiss to Bowie or whatever. Uh, what else? There's three themes. Oh, and, and uh, comic books and stuff like that. Influences I had at the time um, and how I, my, my drawing career progressed. You know, as a little guy, you know, you start out drawing well, for me, I started out drawing aliens because <laughs> they were really easy. Aliens and monsters. My first uh, book I ever owned was, uh, hey, Gwen, how you doing? My first book I ever owned was Where the Wild Things Are by uh, Maurice Sendak when I was a kindergartner. And my kindergarten teacher to this day will remind me. She goes, yeah, I remember when you would, uh, anytime you turn in a, a paper, uh, you would always draw me little cartoons and but all the cartoons had um, like horns and fangs and uh, uh, they were always like monsters because my first influence as an artist was Marie Sendak. As I grew older, I got into uh, Charlie Brown and uh, comic strips like that. Then I sort of graduated to uh, Spider-Man and, you know, superhero comics. And so I started drawing a lot of superhero comics and stuff. But uh, everything really exploded for me when I was about 12 and I discovered Kiss. Death Ray, the hottest band in the land. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you, Paul. Um, <laughs> uh, when I discovered Kiss, I started drawing Kiss cartoons all the time. My my sketchbooks and stuff were just filled with drawings of Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons and all this stuff. And uh, and at the same time, uh, I started listening to Kiss music constantly. And so as a teenager, most of my artistic creative time was spent drawing pictures of Kiss, listening to Kiss music, and then uh, also listening to David Bowie music. Ground control to Major Tom. There's a star man waiting in the sky. You know, it's a, hey, this is interesting. What's that, Michael? What, you know, this is kind of a Ziggy Stardust as a cat, right? This is my cat Bagheera's <laughs> cat toy. But um, if, uh, when, when Peter Chris quit, he was fired. Yeah, okay. <laughs> when Peter Chris was fired, you could have replaced him not with Eric Carr, but instead with David Bowie. Because that year in 1979 or whatever, Bowie was still wearing makeup and stuff. If Bowie had joined Kiss, but he doesn't play, but he doesn't play drums. Yeah, I know, but he could like sing and stuff. It would have looked something like this. It would have been, Bowie could have been in Kiss wearing all black with a yellow and then space ears and he could still be the cat, but he'd be Ziggy Cat. That's an awesome idea. Yeah, huh? <laughs> um, so anyway, so Kiss, uh, and, and also the thing, the, a lot of times people ask me, why do you love Kiss so much? And to those people, I say, you just don't get it. You know, KISS fans, <laughs> we all get that question. Why do you like KISS? Uh, 
And, uh, but also as an artist and as a, a kid without much, uh, you know, without, you know, my, my heroes in life, I didn't, there wasn't anyone in my immediate life who was like being a role model to me. So I had to look towards Paul Stanley and Paul Stanley for everything else that he did for music and his career and stuff like that. In every interview and in lots of his songs, he would always kind of say something like, I remember what I said. I, I would always say, if you believe in yourself and you're willing to work hard, you can do anything. The whole theme of, of Paul Stanley's life and KISS was, was about, you know, having a dream and achieving it. Talking, lick it up. Don't wanna wait till you know me better. Lick it up, lick it up. Let's just be glad for our time together Make it up, make it up Life's up some sweet, you can buy with money Make it up, make it up It's all you need, believe me, honey It ain't a crime to be good to yourself Make it up, make it up Oh, oh, oh. Make it up, make it up, oh, oh, oh. Don't wanna wait for an invitation. Make it up. Make it up. You gotta live like I'm on vacation. Make it up. Make it up. There's something sweet that you can buy with money. Make it up. Money, money. Make it up. It's all you need. Believe me, honey. It ain't a crime to be good to yourself. Make it up. Make it up. Oh, 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 it's over right now. Lick it up, lick it up. Oh, 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 come on, come on, lick it up, lick it up. It's only right now. It's only right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh! Uh -huh. 